was the night before Valentine's, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Richard and Paul had been together for 27 years. They didn't do Valentine's. They didn't do roses. They went to bed and they read their books. Happy Valentine's, boys and girls. Wakey, wakey! Oh, oh. Honestly, really? Really, I was sleeping then. I was enjoying that. What are you reading anyway? I'm reading about the weather. But I'm reading about beauty, I think you'll find. Well, you're always reading about something about nice, where I read about things that are real. What? What? What do you mean, something about nice? That's not a, a grammatically correct sentence. Well, of course it's grammatically for... correct. No, it's not. Mm. Re I'm reading about nice. What are you reading? Tell me. I'm reading about what Storm Dennis is going to do Storm over the weekend. Storm Dennis. Or no, Storm... it's Storm Dennis. Well, I think Kelly called it Storm Derek. Well, it's not I Derek. Find. <laughs> We've had, I don't think it's Derek. We have Kiara or... Kira. But, yeah, but the thing is, whatever. do you know what really annoys me is that why on earth have they stopped? Now I've looked into this. I've looked into this. You've looked into what? No, I have. What? The reason why they have the names. What names? Oh, God's sake. The storm bloody names. What else am I talking about? Mm. The reason why they have such ordinary names. But they're it's not because... ordinary, they're Irish. No, they're not. That's the thing. I thought they were. No, listen, if you listen to what I'm saying, no. they have done a study of the, the demographic of names. Yeah, the demographic of names. And they have chosen a selection of names that reflect the current trends. Dennis! Derek. Dennis, no. Is it the, Derek? Dennis, Dennis, Dennis isn't Kiara. A... I don't no, think so. Ki Kira. Kira. Kiora. No, no, that's a orange juice. I know. But no. I don't think it reflects Kira. the current demographic, frankly. Anyway, I'm reading about beauty tonight. Do you know a lot about beauty? Well, I do, because naturally, being very beautiful, um, one can't help but read about beauty. Um... <laughs> Now, I'm currently reading about... Lip balm. Kiss me slowly. Lip, lip balm. balm. <coughs> lip balm. It's a bit like, um, what's her name, out of Doodah. Kiss me quickly. No. Kiss Mis me slowly. Mistress quickly. No, not mistress. Kiss me under. No, listen. Kiss me over. Kiss me hardy. Kiss me sideways. No, that was, that, no, that was Admiral Nelson. Nelson. But no. it wasn't that, was it? It was Kismet. They say now it was Kismet, not Kiss Me. What? He said Kiss Me Hardy, no, I'm about to drop dead. No, Kismet Hardy. That's what they say now. What did he mean by that? I've got no idea. Anyway, no, I was thinking more of Scarlett O'Hara. What? She and the curtains? Kiss me, kiss me red, kiss me long and hard. Kiss me red? Kiss me slowly, kip, quis, quickly, quis, quickly. Quis, Quipply, crisply, quickly, crisply, quimly, 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 kiss my quimly, red. Oh, oh, red, not red. Red. I red thought you meant red. I, thought, I was talking in a southern accent. I thought it was like a sort of communist. Mammy, thing. mammy, tear down the curtains and make me a dress. Did she actually do that? I think so. Yeah, because she makes the green dress out of the curtains. Oh, that's right. Out Are you drapes. going to be able to do that on Vivi's sewing well, machine? Well, I think so. And Vivi's going to teach me how to make... You see, I've got my own mammy mm. in Vivi. Mammy! 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 Are you there, mammy? I'm 17, I'm beautiful, and I'm going to the ball. Whose balls? The ball. Ashley's ball. Oh. Ashley's birthday party. Ashley has big balls. Ashley. Well, yeah, we know. That's right. Anyway, I'm also reading about some lovely other it things. It says scrub. Look, facials. She doesn't look very happy, though. I better not show her face. No, she doesn't look very happy. Pop She's having right. a facial, and she doesn't look a very facial. happy. A facial. A facial. A facial. There's beauty balm for all skin types, multi-purpose. Evening primrose moisturiser. Neuro what is neroli? 
Neroli? I don't know. I want to know what cirrocumulus is. Do you know what cirrocumulus is? It's a cloud. And do you know what cumulonimbus is? It's a cloud. What type of cloud is it? Frankincense. No, cumulonimbus. What type of cloud is that? It's a big fluffy cloud. But what's it do afterwards? And after it's a big storm, what does it do after? And after it rains, what does it then do? Paul, you're being tedious. Thunder! Thunder cloud! (laughs) Like that? Where's Julie Andrews when you need her? I don't think she sings anymore. Favourite things in the thunderstorm. Uh, no, the sound I, I of know, music. but I don't think she sings, does she? Now look, you this told is Mum she didn't Paul... sing. Oh, look, things exactly. to eat. Look, frankincense day cream. Oh, I thought for it was a lovely cream. Skin. No. Mm. Now frankincense is very, very useful for anti. What's the word? Inflammatory. No, not anti. Anti-anxiety. Anti-anxiety. Oh, anti-anxiety. It's very, very useful. I had an anti-fill and an Uncle Len. And do you know what? I didn't have an anti-anxiety. Actually, you'll find that frankincense is... Its name in Latin is... I think it's Boswellia. Really? Boswellia. How do you know that? And that's where... Boswellocks comes from. How do you know that? Not bollocks, Boswellocks. How do you know that? Paul, I know things. I'm not just a pretty face. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna, hopefully. Absolutely. Yeah. This book's quite heavy. Is it? Shall yeah. I take that book from you? Valentine's. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, yes, yes. What is Valentine's Day to us? Now, Valentine's, nothing. No, all look facial mist. Give that to me. It's we haven't had facial mist book. for a long time. It's a book on beauty. No. So it is Valentine's Day, and we've happy had a... Valentine's Day. What? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Paul. Lovely. You see, we've been together for twenty-seven years yes, almost far too now. Long. And um, yeah, Valentine's Day. <coughs> Mean a lot to us anymore. Don't mean a lot to us don't anymore. Don't mean a lot to us why, anymore. Why are you speaking in that voice? Paul? Well, because they don't mean no, a lot to us, do they? Did, did you get me a Valentine's card? No. Valentine's, he didn't get me look, a Valentine's, Valentine's card. Valentine's Day is not for people who've been together twenty-seven years. It's not. It's not for the, Valentine's Day. Is not this big commercial, commercial thing? No, not any. No. No, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, but it is. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Are you just going to say the same thing over and over again? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be because it originally started as. Uh, no, you please carry on. You were doing it's such originally, a good job. We used to give Valentine's to people when we were kids. Okay as a token of love to somebody, but they didn't know who it had come from. That's what Valentine's was yes, in our days. it was days. from a secret lover. It was from a secret lover. My secret lover's called Mario. I didn't think he was that secret. I think he told everyone Not about Mario. Not anymore, he isn't. No, no. Anyway, we've had a lovely Valentine's Day. We have, we spent in, it with a friend. In the company of a lovely friend. Yes, yeah, been in bed all day. No, we haven't been in bed all day. No, we haven't been Don't in bed lie. all day. No. We got up this morning from bed and then we travelled over London. We've ended up in bed. And we bed. met up with a friend and we've ended up in bed. Yes. Yeah. With our lovely friend who made us a lovely lunch today. Oh, yes, that was nice. It was lovely. delicious. A pie. A pie. lovely pie. Had mushrooms and kale. Cabello Nero. Can you guess from the pie who that lovely friend is? I can. Can you? I can. Well, we know because we were there, Paul. Oh, yeah. I'm I asking the so, viewers. Yeah. It's not all about you, you know. I think it is. Where did you get that ridiculous hat from? Vivi gave it to me. Did she? Oh! <gasps> You've let it I've out. I've just let it out You've of the bag. You've let the cat out, out of the bag. Out of now. the bag. The bag? Out of the bag. The, the bag, Paul, it's a bag. Bag, bag. That's, that's um, South a bag. African. Tuppence a bag. Tuppence a bag. That's South African, isn't it? Paul's gone into South African accent. South African. 
Paul, don't insult the whole of South Africa. <laughs> I can insult That's with my accident. Doing. Accent. Yeah, not that accident. That looks the good whole enough. of the world. That looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? There's some hexagonal beeswax there. It looks good enough to eat. But I don't think hexagonal beeswax is thing. real, really. Oh. I say, chaps. Oh, hello. Could you make some space? Oh, oh. Um, let's move over for our you. lovely, lovely friend. <sighs> From what Viv did next in Lily's kitchen garden oh. and Vivi's mm. bed. Oh, oh. Mm. you look like um, what's her name? Norma Desmond. Are you ready for your close up? Oh, look, I've been reading the I news. I think you should back. stay You're forward. Not going to me. You should stay so, no, no, Paul didn't say no, I mean, I'm falling off the bed. Hello. I'm not falling off the bed. Are we having, no, are we having Valentine's chat? Yes. Valentine's chat, Paul. Valentine's chat oh jesus christ what so you wanted little, me to say that my little valentines how lovely how Absolutely lovely to lovely. spend my valentine's day with you with all the roses you brought and the chocolates and the teddy bears and the cards and how gorgeous 52 years without a valentine's card oh, no. no so 52 years You've never had a Valentine's No. Card. You we must never. have done. Well, I don't think I no, have. No, never. I don't well, think we, I have. We would have we'll, we'll go and buy you one now. No, I don't, I listen, I don't want a charity. No. Oh. Um, God, Paul. Do you no. think we'll get one in a charity shop I now? Think, <laughs> I think you will. Oh, no, no. The funny thing was, on my high street, there's a, there's a stationery shop. Mm. There are so few stationery shops around these days. It's great to see one. But they had... A three for one offer on Valentine's cards. If you bought three, <laughs> you got all three for a quid. Who is sending out three Valentines, you dirty blighters? I think that's, dirty oh, oh, I think that's ridiculous. I think that's ridiculous. But the thing if I got a three for one card, I'd be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it said three for one on the inside? <laughs> you've got, you got this card works, free. That's just vinegar. <laughs> is it? Oh, how is it? In your beauty pocket. This is, my fabric softener is just vinegar. It's not that so soft. You don't want your towels to be soft. You want them to be I want to smell your vinegar. Rough. I've noticed. Smell my vinegar, bitch. Oh, oh sorry, can we say <laughs> that? You can no, say bitch. You can say whatever you want. On our channel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but, yeah. you know what I love about being on RMP's channel? since 2017 Gee, is contractual. I contractual. kind of say anything because if I really screw up it's them that lose the subscribers yeah, to their channel yeah. it's yeah. not me it doesn't we're going to end up with Yay. at least three subscribers by the end of this at so least anyway, anyway did you not get do you know how we can get some more subscribers tonight yeah I know but we're not doing we're that we're not doing, doing that, that. No, no, no we're not doing that we are not doing creative art on camera. No. I'm not getting my paintbrush out. You can forget it. You are not tuning in now to see painting happening. No. Forget no, no, no. it. But you did make me laugh a minute ago, didn't you? Or half an hour ago. For half an hour. So, yes, but we can't tell that story. No. We might. Uh, what? Uh, I actually got a little bit of footage on my camera, which I don't think I can use. I'm going to give it to the boys to use, uh, to splice into this maybe, because I, <clears throat> look it's Valentine's Day, it's a day of thinking about romance and love, I don't give a tinker's, tinker's cuss, cuss about, I don't give a titty for angle about uh, Valentine's, because if you love someone you love them every day of the yeah. year, Absolutely. you don't need Hallmark to tell you when to love them, no. anyway, because it's Valentine's Day, we got onto the subject of first boyfriends, first girlfriends. And then Vivi we, said something which just to, made me laugh. I will, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it delicately. Right. Richard's getting worried. That's hilarious because Richard's the most bitch of all. So <laughs> I, I, was, I was recounting an early frisky experience a frizzle oh, of romance uh, it was a it was a frisky experience and at the time i owned ducks <laughs> <laughs> and at the time that my frisky experience happened 
I lived in a single story dwelling and my bedroom had windows that were like patio windows that went down to the ground and you could keep them open and all I would say is that I was quite young and I was having one of my first frisks shall we say and the ducks got interested and the ducks joined in (laughs) there's a word for that you know there's a word for that Oh, it kept me laughing for at least 20 minutes. So I would just like to say to I can't say I can't say the boy's name uh, because of preserving dignity, but his his initials were D D, and (laughs) that's all I'm going to say. So if D D is watching, hello. He's um, not watching, I can assure you. He won't be watching, he's too thick. You never know. He, was, he, was, never he, was, know. he was, No, he was a really thick boy. I, oh, I was only... I was only that's he was gorgeous. He was one of those... My problem in life with men <clears throat> and finding the right partner is I'm very aesthetically guided. Oh. So I like really beautiful people. My problem is, I always find, I either find a beautiful person who's thick, mm, or I find the really intelligent ones who are not pretty. Uh, Shame on you. And I don't mean... (laughs) Because I've got the whole family. And the thing is, the thing is, even if you weren't gay, if I was to get with you, it'd be like weird, because like, you are my twin. You yeah, are, that's you, true. You are so my twin. That'd be like yeah. so wrong. This would be like Jeremy Kyle gone. Re- you know, if I they ever did. Jeremy you know, Jeremy Kyle. Kyle's on in the afternoon. No, if they did a Jeremy Kyle after the watershed, it would be me and you meeting as twins, having a DNA test. But thank God he's gay. Thank God I'm. What Jeremy Kyle sensible. is gay. Oh, no. Keep up with the program. Oh, I miss, I, I miss oh. a bit. I miss a bit. Lovely. No, so uh, I think we do have the similar taste, though, don't we? We do. Yeah. We definitely. go for bears, don't we? Do we? Do we? Do we? No, do we? I don't. For, no. no, you've gone for a bear, and I always go for skinny, skinny, really skinny <laughs> men. I just I went for whatever tall I could people. get. <laughs> I've always liked tall people, you? and you were tall, and in fact, you still are tall. I am. I'm shrinking, though. Are you shrinking? Slowly, slowly. I think I'm only six foot four now. Do you like tall people with your friends as well, Paul? Um, not particularly. Why is he he procrastinating? Not particularly. Yes, I really like women who are five foot ten or more. Oh, I really like women who are five foot ten or more and independent and into gardening and growing vegetables. That's true, but I'm not particularly. I, uh, yeah, I'm always attracted to larger, to That's tall nice to men. Not larger. Larger, oh, yeah. I yeah, I, I changed that. I'm always attracted to tall men. But I'm only five foot eight and I'm fat. So I think that's why. That's Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah that is Glastonbury. That's Glastonbury. Yeah. I think that's kind of cute. I think although Richard and I may be separated at birth in terms of our proclivities in terms of our outlook on life and science and art and nature, whatever. I think we have a lot in common, Paul, in that Mm. I like taller men too. Right. That's not a lot in common, that's one thing in common. I think we have a lot in common. Do we? Yeah, common. Yeah, because we like cumin and we like brassicas. Oh, lunch today. Oh. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. But it was made more fabulous by nicking one of their tricks of a spoonful of marmite helps the pie go down. Copyright. The pie go down. The pie go down. I don't want any copyright strikes. There's no copyright time. issues because I'm not singing her words. No, you're singing the tune. There was leaping. But there was less than 10 seconds. We are yeah, that's less true. than so 10 seconds. But, <laughs> but, oh, yeah. Right then. Chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang, chitty yeah, chitty right. bang bang. Oh. You, can I just say? It's not a porno. No, it's not. No. It's, it's so lovely to have the boys in my bed, finally. 
finally. This is, this is yeah. something I've been. They say finally. It's been going on for months. <laughs> <laughs> now, has it or hasn't it? There we are. Well, and. Do, 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 do. So, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Are we going now? Are we going? No, we've only just started. I was about to bring. I was going to bring the bread rolls. Paul's made bread rolls. I've made and bread rolls. And I was going to bring there, a yeah. cheese board to bed. What, in bed? Yeah. A smorgasbord. You can even take your scarf off. No, he we can't have a cheese do board that. With no he scarf can't do that. In bed. No, that's possible. So, this Valentine's thing. It's nonsense, isn't it? I think it's lovely for young people oh, as long as that, that secret thing oh, is there. Oh, shut up. No, but it's I not. But I just think for, for long it's standing, just stupid... it's just become a commercial thing. It's absolutely... The whole thing is nonsense. Do you remember Four Boys? The It was like a news agent. It's Four Boys? No. Yes. Four Boys? Northern. Was it Four Boys? It was called Four Boys. No, I don't remember that. W. H. Smith. I knew W. H. Smith. You know we were talking the other day about buying books when we were kids and buying records. It was four boys. Anyway. Anyway, and the point is this: Woolworths. You could buy Woolworths, four boys, Smiths, all those things. Twenty nine p. Buy Valentine's card. Blah blah blah. It's just commercial, <laughs> absolute nonsense. If you love someone, you know what? How about in three, four? maybe 13 weeks time put on the calendar in 13 weeks time go out and buy 12 red roses you yeah. weirdo you weirdo don't buy 12 red roses buy them a bloody rose bush, bush. that you can put in the ground and, and they can grow. have that love forever <clears throat> so listen I'm not disparaging people loving other people are you doing that are you seriously are you actually doing that doing what <laughs> the point is <clears throat> Do you know what's really amazing At the age of 52 I found my bitch sister <laughs> And, and you she found really your, is a bitch You found your garden sister and as well Yeah what did you say <laughs> The thing is <laughs> He just said a naughty thing then Did you say a naughty thing Yeah he said shoot. I am going to do a poll now and they're going to hate this. Who do you find it easier to love? Paul or Richard? <laughs> no, don't answer. Don't answer. Because that's like choosing your favourite child and none of us can. We have our favourite children that we love. I, I'm, I'm my favourite. We love both our children. I love both these boys for very different and separate reasons. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what was that what noise? Was that? Is that it's a bed just, breaking? It's a very, very old antique bed. It's just moving. Really? Really? No, oh, wow. I thought it was from Ikea. <gasps> do you check his bed? Do you check his bed? <laughs> it's, it's, like... not, it's not Ikea. Are you kidding me? This is solid mahogany. It looks like this is Ikea. mahogany. You this can... is... I think... I think... The good thing is, you, you know that you can sell range. this for 100 quid. There's a range just like this in Ikea. Have you seen it underneath? No. No, I've never it's, been It's like bed. literally... It's no. the world what of the is, pumpkins. No, well, it is the world of pump, cum, pump, cum, 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 pumpkins. Cumly pumpkins. Cumpkins. It, it's the world of the cumpkins and the fairies. No, it's it's got solid wrought iron steel girders. Really? It needs it. Um, <laughs> But I'm kidding. I wish. Sorry. Um, no, it's an ancient. It's an ancient. This is a 1922 bed. I think it's glorious, but I wouldn't know. But no. can I tell you? But just very quickly about this bed, because the the footboard and the headboard, there's two iron girders that stretch between the two, right. and they come off with knots. I'm sure they do. There may be some knots in this video. So they come off and you've got these two long girders of six foot six ish or whatever it is. So this bed frame, mahogany, that I painted, I bought it in You Hollywood. painted this? Yeah, but you painted this? Yeah, okay. of course I painted it. Ivory, antique white, whatever. Um it looks no, like it's been I bought spray painted this. in the factory. 
No, but you can see the lines of my brush. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the point is, I bought this in a little second-hand junky place in Chalton Cum Hardy. Oh, in oh Manchester. Lovely. Lovely. Everyone knows Chalton Shit. Cum Hardy. That's, That's why I lived when I was at because when I went oh, to university. God. When, when I was, did you live there? What year? <laughs> I was at university in Manchester until 88, and then from 88 oh, till 90, I, I lived in time. Manchester. Are you freaking me out I now? Know, you know what we're saying about being brother and sister? He did. I had a friend. Dude. Were you in Chorton in 88 to yeah. 90? Yeah. Oh my God, were you at the house? I used to go to the house. Oh, so, oh, you know, do, do, you remember, do you remember that top, Do you remember the girl who used to get on the podium and go, she was that all was topless? You. That was you? Yeah. Hmm. No. I, do you know High Lane? With the little, yeah. Yeah. A friend of mine lived on High Lane. We managed to turn the camera off. Opposite the Islamic girls' school. Shut the no. front door. You see, you know you, that because because when I got to know Paul and Richard, um, the first thing I got to know about them was I I stumbled upon their YouTube channel, as we all do, and you stumble on it, and once you've stumbled. You're hooked. You can't get away. <laughs> it's like a drug. And so I stumbled on it initially just because of the gardening. And it's weird because I actually don't watch many gardening channels. I don't watch any at all, in fact. But I, I, I spotted theirs and then I started to watch Sunday Chat and Paul kept dropping... Sunday Chat! <sighs> Valentine's Chat! <laughs> <laughs> and then Paul was dropping a few things every now and again about the West End and that world and I thought oh that's interesting because I kind of clocked that we were probably a similar age I mean I did think he was probably you know 20 years older than me but I thought <laughs> probably you. the circles of people we work with similar age oh that's interesting theatre and then every now and again so over the course of about a year of watching the Friday Night Lives and the Sunday Chats I was like these guys are more and more like surely they should be my best friends these are people who are talking about stuff I know people I know places I know <laughs> times I know da, da. and you, look it's no um, news to anyone we've become best friends but every now and again even since then it's really weird to then find out that actually We've probably crossed paths with me dancing on a podium and you underneath going, she's got really nice breasts, but I'm not interested in breasts. <laughs> that, by the way, is a day glow stick. Day glow stick. I got, glow stick? stick. I got that. That's a glow stick. So I don't think... I did, did you ever hold a day glow stick, though? No. No. Did you ever hold a girl? No. But did you ever look at a girl dancing and think... She's gorgeous. What a gorgeous ass! What a gorgeous pair of bazoobas. No. But no. that's so funny because no. you like my bazoobas now, don't you? <laughs> he's always saying, he's uh, honestly, he's always saying to me, Vivi, I really think you should promote your boobs. <laughs> well, we thought you would get more subscribers by doing yeah. that. Yeah. I probably would, well, but they wouldn't type. be. They wouldn't be interested type. in gardening or cooking or sewing or. So did you live in Charlton? Yeah. Whereabouts did you live? So, do you remember where, um, oh hang on. Because you've got that main village. I just needed to want to swear for a second. So, you know where the big, was it Sainsbury's? Yeah, uh, and no the, it's not, Safeway. Safeway, and yeah. it was, it was, was it Albany Road at the side of it? Oh God, I don't know. You know, the, there was a road at the side of it, it was from south to north. So there's the main road. Wilburn Road. Yeah, that, that road going up, number two, flat <gasps> C. So I was in the top flat, even in those days, what was the, I was in um, the cottage in the sky. What was the landlord? Wasn't Roger Dean, was it? No. I don't, I don't Dean, know. It's, well, they owned a lot of properties around there. I don't, I was, I was too busy either. Well, Disco know. dancing. I, I, yeah, go-go dancing. Go-go so dancing. I, at the time, so I started to work for the corner house. And there used to be a pizza place. So because I worked for the corner house, uh, we got on to the... Because the corner house was like this uber cool art gallery, yeah. art, photography, cinema. So I worked for the corner house. And because of that, I was on the guest list for every club in town. So literally... Monday to, mm, let's see now, Sunday, 
I was out at the clubs. <laughs> so Hass, the big night for the Hass was a thir was Thursday. Thursday. Thursday was the indie night for the yeah. Hass. I was always into indie. Oh, the Hacienda. Yeah. Yeah. The Hacienda. So, yeah. so Thursday night there'd be this massive long queue mm -hmm. for the Hass. Even by eight o'clock. I mean, who goes to the club at eight o'clock? You losers, wannabes, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I'd want to be I'd, home by ten. I'd, yeah, I'd take <laughs> that. That would be gas. me. So I'd ball up at ten o'clock, and uh, they'd see me and they'd go, "Yep, yeah, in you go." No queue, nothing, because I was working in this really cool place, Pink Palace. I know Pink, Pink Palace. Pink Palace is in Liverpool. Yeah, I know. So we had, I, I, we had went, I went to my first real boyfriend. We went to the Pink Palace in Liverpool. Oh, Pink Palace is fantastic. Also, uh, so, okay, so Palace, Palace on a Wednesday night. The Palace no, on a Wednesday night? No. These two boys are so shy and because, sheltered. Because by... I was a I moved girl, back girl. from London, 87... I was then back in Cheshire, working Cheshire. in working in um, working in the coal mines. Du, 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 I was working just outside of um, Ooh, Manchester. One. Met up with friends, started going out in Manchester, but by middle of eighty nine, I was back, back down in, in London. London. By which time you were going Wembley. to Ministry of Sound. No, I didn't go to no. Ministry of Sound. I'm too China. big, too boy. The thing heaven, is, yeah. is, heaven, heaven. Yeah, no, heaven. Uh, oh my God, we were. Oh, we were must have been and heaven again, at the same time. Night, night. Night. So, night. Alternative I, night. Uh, so my taste was uh, in terms of music was totally indie, but in terms of clubs, it was indie or the gay clubs. I loved going to the gay clubs because no one, everyone, everyone's just everyone. No one's anyone, but everyone's mm. someone. And there was no... As a woman, I actually found it really safe. Yeah. Because I love to go to clubs because I love the, I love the crack. I love the kick. I love the music. I love getting off my face on booze. I'll be honest. I just loved getting mashed and mad. And it was never about pulling, getting off with someone. I didn't give a toss about any of that I wasn't doing it because I wanted a snog mm. although a snog was nice every now and again so <laughs> going to the gay clubs for me was great because I would say that the vast majority of my friends at that time were gay anyway but for me as a woman to go to a gay club was so liberating because no one looked at me no one judged me no one gave a hoot about me all the boys were looking at each other. It was fantastic. <laughs> They're all looking at each other. I can get on with me dancing and me singing. Did you and ever get on the podium? By the way, I didn't do that. Uh, at heaven. heaven. At heaven. heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine you getting. And yeah, yeah, still yeah, nobody yeah, looked heaven. at you. Yeah. yeah. And because uh, in those days I was really skinny. That, Bitch. He said no one looked at me. In those <laughs> days I was really skinny, but like proper muscly Tony, but. You can tell I'm a chunky woman now. I've always had mega curves. So even when I was anorexic, stick thin, I still had knockers and a bum. So the boys loved it. They yeah. bloody loved it. So I did have... Uh, you had a so following. Can I say, can I, can I go a high-waisted pant? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thong. And I used to put glitter on my butt cheeks. <gasps> no. So I would have glitter on my butt cheeks. Did you spray it on, or did you put the glue on first? No, it was, and then it, was put it, it was like on. it was like this gel yeah. stuff. Yeah. You put it, yeah. You, so you kind of rubbed it onto yourself at home in SW10 or wherever you're living. Then you travel up on your tube on with all your tube. clothes on. Then you go to the cloak room and hang your clothes up, and you go into the club in just your kind of like a bikini almost. But your hands are mashed up with this, and everything you do, so you have a... So there I am with my glittery butt cheeks and my little thongy <laughs> thing, getting ready to get onto a podium and dance. Oh, I'll have a pint, please. Because I only ever drank pints. I don't drink. I don't drink gin, vodka... Spirits. Spirit. I don't drink short drinks. I always had a pint. So I'll have a pint, clog me pint. Everything's covered in glitter. Love it. 
Go and of home, course, you'd be dancing and, and you'd be um, glowing, wouldn't you? You'd be sweating. Rather than sweating. But all this stuff in the 80s, it was like really not environmentally sound. No. So it, it would kind of just semi slide off. Yeah. It was <laughs> so slightly dribble down your buttocks and down your legs. But who cares at four in the morning? You get the night bus home, you, you ding the bell at your bus stop. The bell gets covered in glitter. If you can see your bus stop. <laughs> I was never that bad. Oh. We had a we, we had a bad. friend who stayed on the bus, didn't we? Who stayed on the bus? She stayed on the bus and ended up back in central London. So the bus came out. Yeah. She was asleep. And then the bus came goes back, back in. into town. Yeah. Oh my god. And she went straight to work. Oh my god. But those are the days, weren't you they? Did. When, we were, mm. when we were like you did. 25, <laughs> you go out till 5 in the morning, go home, one hour of sleep, get up, shower, shove some food down your face, go to work. Yeah. Hi. I don't oh, know. I, can't I don't do that know. Now. I absolutely. I can't I don't do that know after 24 we... hours now. I went into L- central London twice this week. Once I went through Bank and once I went through Holborn and. It was early, well, one was late at night and one was early in the morning. And I just could not oh. bear the crowds. It was sort of like, how did I, I do that every darling. day for decades? In a minute. Just don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm doing poor feet. Oh, yeah, it's my, it's, I'm rustling <laughs> it's my feet. disgusting. Both of feet. you, stop right now. And Richard vile. hasn't darned the holes in my socks either, have you? And I'm you? not going to be darning the hole. I think it's time to tie up now. I, I do really too. really do. It's disgusting. We need to... What's disgusting? Both Are you going you to darn my socks? Feet. I think we should basically... Oh, there's actually... The thing about this bed, being an antique bed, is quite... Small. Narrow. Is, it, is it smaller than your home bed? <laughs> We've got a super bloody king. Have you? Yes. yes. So the yeah. thing is, my... You don't have to touch, ever. No, so, we don't. So we don't. My, my duvet, my duvet is a king size. It's not a super king, though. No, no, shut up. The point is, the, the bird this is, is quite... This is a queen. The bird is... It's the queen. How bloody perfect that my bird... Is a bloody queen. It's a queen. It's not a queen. It's a standard king. No, it's that? not. Kick, not the double. No, I it's mean. not. This is bigger than a double. Before the yeah, war, the this was the standard size. Right. Before which war? Yeah, which war? Crimean. Florence is my hero. <laughs> anyway, the point is, if this is an antiquarian bed. It is. A, it is very small. I think it's slightly bigger. So than what a I've done, what I've done with this bed. In terms of boys who've been in it, I oh. invested in a king size duvet. Yes. Right. So that even if you've only got a small tranche of area upon which to place your hip and shoulder, because please face away from me, you can at least still have enough a duvet coverage. duvet coverage that you can tuck the duvet under your buttocks. Up and over your shoulder and down over to your chesticle area. Well, thank you, you so much so, for that very personal insight <laughs> you into tuck your, your things, duvet you? habit. However, his having, having I said keep on all pulling. that, having said all that, I think on Valentine's Day, this is my message to you all I in terms of longevity of relationships. The way to make a relationship work in the long term is do not share your freaking bed. Thank you for that mm. honest insight. Mm. So thank you, bloody thank you. Oh, hang everybody. on. Everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for joining us this Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's! And Valentine's chat! And <laughs> We're going now. We're going now. Say goodbye. We're now going to Bye. have some bone time. Are we going to have some, like, um... We're going to have bread rolls time. now. We're going to have quality time now. Quality yeah, time. Quality, We're going to have quality, quality time. time. Quality time. Quality time. In bed. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bloody thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
cut. Good. You said cut too soon. <laughs> Shh.